All right, Paul, you guys have spent so much time on the road at, at the start of this season. You have your regular season home debut this week, a couple of GNAC uh, teams coming to town. Why are you guys excited to be at home? Uh, we're excited to be at home because, I mean, it's our first home game in a while for GNAC play. So, I mean, our last home game was in 2019. Um, being at home in front of the fans, whoever comes out, um, it's going to be nice to see everyone out there. And, Hopefully we get a win this weekend. Senior year in a yellow jacket uniform for you. Your third year in the program. What's it been like? Uh, what's the experience at MSGB been like for um, you? It's amazing. I mean, everyone like everyone's welcoming. I mean, the coaches are amazing, and I mean they can relate to us a lot because they're like they're younger than most coaches. But yeah, um, I love the guys. Being around everyone is just fun and amazing. Quite an individual performance you, for you a couple of matches ago, the South Dakota Mines game. You had a couple of goals and an assist, uh, one of your better college games uh, of your career. Why was that fun for you? Yeah, it was amazing because, I mean, being out with the guys and everyone was uh, performing amazingly and um, getting two goals on the sheets was just amazing. And then, I mean, you have like Austin contributing, everyone, Edgar, Brian. Yeah, it was good. A uh, tough result for you guys against Seattle Pacific, but the one thing you did was you battled really hard uh, into overtime against them. You guys are able to score three goals. Um, talk about bouncing back from that against a nationally ranked opponent and being ready to go this week. Yeah, I feel like that game, that game was a good game. I mean, they're really good. Credit SPU. I mean, they're a good team. They came out. They played. I mean, we played a really hard game. It was tough. I mean, at the end of the day, there's two. There's always one winner and one loser, and we just got the short end of the stick. But, yeah, we're going to bounce back this weekend, hopefully, and get two wins. We'll see how that goes. Not every player on this team, in fact, maybe not even most of them, have, have played GNAC matches before. You're one of them because it's been a couple of years due to the pandemic. But how does that prepare you? You know, St. Martin's coming in, Northwest Nazarene coming in. They're going to be tough opponents, too. Yeah, there's no easy team in the GNAC. So, I mean, after my first year realizing, like, anybody can beat anyone, um, we just got to come out, play hard, and do our best, work together as a team and we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah it's been uh, over six weeks now for players since our last game. Uh, we played at home, so, so we are really excited to be home. The weather is going to be nice playing in front of our fans. Uh, you know, we've been traveling a lot this September and finally have a, a normal week where we can rest. We'll hopefully be helpful uh, this week. Uh, a couple of tough opponents coming in. St. Martin's obviously going to be the first team to focus on Thursday and then Northwest Nazarene Saturday. What are your thoughts facing these two teams? Yes, yeah, St. Martin's lost their two first games uh, last week against Simon Fraser and, and um, Western Washington. Uh, so they're going to come here and, and try what they did uh, in 2019, which is a win. So we have to be uh, very uh, focused. It's not going to be easy game. There are no easy games in the GNAC. So we expect a lot of focus from, from our team, uh, a lot of concentration and, uh, and make sure we execute our, our game plan. So that's really the, the main focus right now. We don't even think about any new who won their first two games. It's really on St. Martins right now, only St. Martins. And, you know, we, we lost the first game against SPU, so we'll have to rebound right away. Uh, Paul had a good game against, uh, against SPU. Uh, he was very active defensively and offensively. Wish he would have scored that, that chance that could have uh, put us two goals up against SPU. But last practice, uh, last week's practice for him was very good, and then he showed it again during the game on Saturday. So you know, he knows it's his last season with us, and uh, he doesn't want to leave our program with any regrets. So he's giving everything at practice and on the field during games, and so we are very happy with his performance so far. Talk about bouncing back from that SPU match, playing a, a top team in, in the nation. You, you led them three different times. The re, end result, uh, you know, doesn't go your way, but a, a really strong performance. You guys really battled to the end. Yeah, you know, we were very disappointed that we didn't get the win, obviously, being three times up. And uh, like I told uh, the, the guys, you know, when we have the opportunities to go two goals up against that kind of team, then we have to put those away. Uh, then we got the red card that set us back a little bit, but even though being one man down, we still created chances where we could have we could have won the game. So a lot of disappointment and frustration from, from the coaching staff, from the players. You know, we obviously have to do better defensively, you know, so uh, I've considered four goals in one game, even though you play the six teams in the country, it's still not good enough. But uh, so like we talked about with the team, being more efficient in the offensive box and the defensive box would be key in order for us to be successful in the GNAC.